Members of the National Weather Service arrived in Mercer County this morning to gather as much data to actually plot this tornado and its strength. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Brandon Goldner continuing our coverage from West Windsor, Mercer County. He's got the latest. Brandon. Hey, Natasha, the National Weather Service just confirmed this was an EF2 tornado with peak winds of 110 to 115 miles per hour. The National Weather Service spent all day looking at this damage, including this right here, this massive tree that got uprooted and took with it part of the sidewalk and a mailbox. Chainsaws. Grinders. And a crackling fire pierced the air all day along Conover Road. We are Nepalese. We like tea in the morning. While making tea, Rita Shaw describes how she heard these massive trees slam down onto her minivan in front yard during yesterday's tornado. I feel that oak tree took its own life to save us. It could have fallen on the house, but it went that way. The National Weather Service spent all day assessing damage in Mercer County to determine the tornado's path and strength. They spent time at Lawrence Square Village and in neighborhoods east of Mercer County Park. Lawrence Township Police Chief Chris Longo says as the National Weather Service continues its investigation, they're working to re-examine who needs assistance. This is a storm that in my 23 years here, uh, I haven't seen this type of damage in February. The county says the storm downed as many as 100 trees. As Cruz cleared some of those trees from her yard, Pam Grun says her teenage children were at home by themselves when they got a text alert from the county telling them to seek cover. I'm just so grateful that our township was able to send that that um, text because it gave them, my kids a minute or two to actually get in the basement. When she got home, she was stunned to see trees strewn all across her property. It was like out of a movie. You just couldn't believe it. And it happened so fast. And like the movies, this has a happy ending. No one's injured, but it left neighbors with some life lessons. Today is a special day. Today is Ash Wednesday. And again, I just think that we all have to be grateful for what we have. Nature tells, reminds us again and again that you are just a little speck of dust in on this earth. Chief Longo says just like this tree, there are many other downed trees throughout the county. He's warning people, especially if you're driving along some of the roads and see downed trees like this one, to be careful driving around it because you don't know what's on the other side. Back to you all in the studio. Brandon, thank you so much.